Good afternoon, you're watching ITV News Central in the Midlands. A 92-year-old woman has been battered with a walking stick by a resident with mental health issues at a care home in Smethwick. Hazel Sanders from Edgebaston in Birmingham had her head split and her body bruised in the attack. It happened on Thursday night at the Carum Court Care Home. She is in hospital, the home says. Staff reacted quickly and they've informed the authorities. A controversial application for a Muslim cemetery on Greenbelt land near Solihull is expected to be rejected by the Borough Council today. The company behind the proposal say it's needed because of the area's growing Muslim population, but residents against the plans say the site will spoil the area. New research says three quarters of parents in the West Midlands struggle to keep up with the basic costs of their child's schooling. The Children's Commission on Poverty report found says parents spend £679 per child every year on the correct uniform, school trips and stationery. A woman has had groundbreaking surgery at Birmingham Children's Hospital after being told she has bone cancer. Jordan Moody had her left thigh amputated and has had a new joint created from her left foot. It's been twisted so her to toes are pointing backwards. The 22-year-old is now waiting for an artificial limb which will be attached to the joint created from her foot. It's not done very much in the UK. Um, there's only been a handful of cases done in the UK before until we started doing this. You have to remove the whole thigh but keep the nerve intact and then uh, we plumb the uh, blood vessels from the back of the knee back into the hip joint so that they obviously the lower part of the leg has a new blood supply. It's a very technical surgery and it's, uh, you know, it has significant risks associated with it and I'm glad to say that Jordan got through it very well without any problems. And more than 23,000 smokers across the West Midlands kicked the habit this month for Stoptober, the 28-day Stop Smoking Challenge. Figures from the Office for National Statistics show the number of smokers in our region has dropped to 18%, which is a record low. Time for a look at your weather now. Here's Helen Plint. Hello again, good afternoon. Well, it's a fairly dreary and wet afternoon in prospect for lots of us and feeling noticeably cooler. In fact, around six or even seven degrees chillier than it was yesterday. So the only redeeming feature is not much of a breeze, but as we go through the mid-afternoon period, that's when those clouds thicken up from the south bringing with them some outbreaks of rain, which will really take hold overnight tonight. Heavy at times for lots of us as well. So a dreary end to the night and start to tomorrow morning. That's when we may just see some misty, foggy patches working their way in. Generally a drier picture through tomorrow than it has been today. Holding on to a lot of cloud though, but some brighter breaks just possible in the afternoon. Those temperatures, as I say, recovering though, so warmer from tomorrow and feeling very pleasant in any sunny breaks. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> And that's all we have time for this lunchtime. Bob and Samina will be back with ITV News Central this evening. In the meantime, we'll have plenty more on our website. That's itv.com slash central. Goodbye.